The U.S. Interior Department has extended the abandoned mine land reclamation program through the year of 2034. North Dakota Public Service Commissioner Randy Chrisman joins us now for this KX Conversation. Randy, thank you for being here. Yeah, so it's a pleasure to talk about this great program. Now, the abandoned mine land reclamation program, otherwise known as AML, why is it good for North Dakota? Well, North Dakota has a, this long history of coal mining activity. Uh, it goes back over a century. Uh, and of course, most people are familiar with our current reclamation program on, on, on current mine uh, projects. And, and that's a completely separate program. Everything uh, is, is done separately. Uh, uh, but the, the reclamation laws apply to lands that were mined uh, since the, the 70s. But there are all those old coal mines going back for, like I say, over a century. Many of them we're familiar with and have at least crude maps of where they went. There are many, it was unregulated at the time, so there are many that we have no idea where they are. And, and in the early parts of the AML program, we focused mainly on high walls from, from surface coal mines, and a lot of those have been fixed. There's a few left out there, but for the most part now a lot of what we deal with are the old underground mines that have uh, weathered for decades or sometimes a century and are now starting to cave in and and you don't know when it's going to happen but this program uh, which is funded through attacks on active coal mines by the way uh, allows us to be able to go out there and either prevent or repair these cave-ins when they occur. And oftentimes they're on roadways, whether that's state, uh, we work on county, city, uh, township roads, even private drives. Some of them actually have occurred even under people's homes or businesses. And uh, so, so having this program available to go out and, and either uh, repair damages or in many cases, we, we know something is occurring in an area and it's near a roadway. We'll go out and do exploratory drilling and find these, these uh, voids and fill them with grout before anything even happens. And that, that's, of course, the much cheaper and safer way to, to solve the problem. And pointing out that this program, it actually expired last September. Oh, wow. Uh, and, and so uh, it's been a big worry that if that happens, like, for example, a, a highway collapses, it will be on the DOT or somebody to come and fix it. We, we can't do it anymore if, if it doesn't get extended. And, and now it's there. And, and so we'll be able to do a lot of good things with that. Uh, you said North Dakota is receiving about $2.7 million per year uh, through federal infrastructure bill. Uh, but there's an addition, additional $11.3 billion. Uh, Randy, tell us, uh, what do you know about that additional funding? Well, we don't know a lot about it yet. Uh, we would, North Dakota would qualify for $20 million of the $11.5 billion, which is a pretty small portion. Um, and that would be over 15 payments. So it would be a little over a million dollars a year that, that we would get for that. There are a lot of qualifiers such as, such as um, employing uh, displaced coal mine workers and such as that. But, but we don't know yet what the requirements are going to be, how they're going to pay that money out, what the requirements of the program are or anything. So, so that's a ways out yet. I, I'm mainly focused on, on really being excited about the, the extension of the, the traditional program uh, that, that funds North Dakota almost $3 million per year for, for uh, keeping these roads and, and homes and businesses safe. All right, Public Service Commissioner Randy Crispin, thank you very much for your time. Good to be with you. Josh, thanks. Chrisman says it's a, the program supposed to employ current and former coal industry workers, but there's no guidance yet on how that will be implemented.